Chapter Nine: A Woman with a Katana. A woman, about looking like the age of nineteen, stepped out of the shadows with a katana in hand. "Who are you?" said you. "Sister, is that you?" said Kiko. "Wait, that's your sister," said Yukiko. "She's like the same woman that was attacking Ken in the labyrinth." "Well, a fake, actually, but this seems to be the real her," said Akihiko. "Akiko, I told you to stay at the cabin." What are you wandering around out here with strangers? Said Akane. They're no strangers. They're my friends. They are helping me look for you, and I got out. Said Akiko. She's telling the truth. Said Aegis. You so-called friends are friends with an F O E. Said Akane. Do you mean Aroha Sanato? She isn't in those foes. First of all, those are witches, and Araha is not one of them. That was her doppel," said Felicia. "I won't believe such lies from people like you. If you're telling the truth, then prove it to me," said, Ak said Akane. She tends to fight us, Yasho. Her against us? I sh it shouldn't be that hard to teach her we don't mess around," said Felicia. Felicia, row there. There we can't fight Akiko's sister. Akiko's sister, said Ryuji. Ryuji's right, said Yukari. Fine then, looks like I'll have to fight you then, said Akane. Sister, don't, said Akiko. Out of the way, Akiko, said Akane. Akane attacked. She went after Ren, holding, holding Iroha, who was unconscious. Mino blocked her attack. Come on, come to your senses. We are not your enemy. Iroha is not a part of this, said Mino. He's correct. The power you witness is called the Doppel. It's a hidden power inside magic girls who accept the fate of their wishes," said Eternal Sakura. So that's what it means. But attacking Araha or any magical girl who have this power is wrong," said Naoto. Akane attacked Miyato. His friends, the investigation team, the Phantom Thieves, and the magical girls came to help. Please don't hurt my sister, you guys," said Akiko. Akiko, who's right? Don't hurt Akane. We need to find a way to stop her attacks. Get some sense into her. That Araha and the Doppels are not monsters," said Mitsuru. "Nice to hear you say that, Mitsuru Senpai," said Akihiko. As they attacked, she became more angry. Then the katana glowed, and she used it to attack everyone. "What the? Her powers have increased at full time," said Futaba. "The power has enough to knock out everyone. What she is thinking?" She's doing," said Rise. "Everyone, get out of there!" said Fuka. "What the?" said Mokoto. "It's so bright; it's hard to see a thing." said Haru. Everyone screamed. "Guys!" said Ren. "Aruha, please wake up!" "Damn it, she's strong," said Kanji. "Too strong," said Kane. "I'm getting a bad reading from her. But why is she attacking us? We don't do anything," said Mel. Akane walked up to Ren. "Hand her over," said Akane. No, stay away from her," said Ren. "I don't have time to fool around. That girl isn't human. She will kill you eventually," said Akane. "So even if she isn't human, she's my friend and everyone's friend," said Ren. "He's right. You can't kill," said On. "Ren and Iroha, friendship never dies, and will not let you destroy it," said Ryuji. "Their friendship starts a ray of friendship between Persona users and magical girls." Said Yusuke, "Even if you kill her, we'll make you regret it." Said Makoto. "We'll not let you hurt Joker's feelings for Araha." Said Futaba. "Their friendship will one day become love, love that no one has seen." Said Haru. "Love and friendship between a between a persona user and a magical girl, like that idea." Said Mel. "Yeah, it's not bad. We are diff. We're both different, but that doesn't keep us apart." Said Kanji. "We are alike." Said Tart. God bless us with this gift of love. Tart, no mean to be rude, but can you hold back on your religion, Suryuji? He's kind of right," said Elsie. Alyssa, oh, forgive me," said Tart. Akiko ran into the fight. She blocked it her sister from Ren and Iroha. Akiko, get out of the way," said Akane. "No, I'm not. I won't let you. I want you to stop hurting my friends," said Akiko. Sister, you are not like this. I know you want to protect me and find mom and dad, but even they know it's wrong. There you are," said Alia. Alia," said Yusuke. 
Oh, Yusuke, you're here. What happened to everyone? You look like you've been beat up to a pulp, said Alia. She did it, said Junpei, pointing at her. I think there's a misunderstanding, said Mifuyu. Mifuyu, said Yachio. Oh dear, Akane, you've lost control of yourself again, said Tsuchiyoko. Indeed she has, sister, said Tsutsuka. Twin magical girls, said Chie. Forgive Akane, she was like this when we met, said Mifuyu. It's fine, said Mitsubu. She was just worried about her sister, said An. So you're Akiko, said Alia. Yes, I am, said Akiko. Once they got to know each other, Ira still didn't wake up, but Yosuke did, and he was confused. What happened? Is Ira okay, said Yosuke? She's breathing, still passed out, but has to take her back to Mitsuma's place, said Yosuke. She released her doppel and almost lost control of it, said Mitsuo. That power is very dangerous, as Nemo has said. It reminds me of artificial personas. Artificial, said Mel? Never mind, it doesn't matter, said Mitsubu. Wait, you, we didn't get to the key to unlock the next lock, said Junpei. Oh, you're right. Where do you think it landed on? A key, said Tusaka. Could it be the one that randomly hit Alia in the head? Whispered Tusuko. You know I can hear you too, right? Said Alia, annoyed. This scared the two twin magical girls. Alia held out the key. Are you talking about this key, said Alia? Yeah, that's it, said uh, Kiko. Huh, really? The key's design reminds me of the Wasa. I, d the Wasa. I don't know. Mind telling me why? Said Alia. We'll explain once we get back to meet them as place, said Alisa. Fine, here you are, said Alia. Alia gave the key to Mianto. The key was uh, familiar of the Wasa shrine. This is why we'll unlock the second lock, said Mianto. Yeah, said Fuka. They went back to meet them as place. Just before, instead of Ren in the bed, unconscious, it was Iraha. He stayed by her side. So as you can see, Miss Gray, the Uwasas are being used as labyrinths with these keys to keep us captive in an alternate world, so we say. This world combines the world of cities we know, for instance, Tatsumi Port Island in the Dark Hour, the TV world of Inaba, Mitakihara City, Medieval French Camp, in Kamehama City, along with Shibuya in Tokyo. So, we, we say, So, I see, Sumishibu. Whoever is doing this is gonna regret using the Orasa, Salia. They belong to the Wings of Magius. Wings of Magius, Sufuka? It's the magical girl group we're from, and we use it when we had Orasas. Nemo, Toka, and Alia are the leaders, Sumifu. But there has been a falling out, but we are thinking about disbanding and creating a group with Araha and Yachicho and the other magical girls in Kamehama. Did you have to tell them everything, Mifuyu? said Ali annoyed. Sorry about that, said Mifuyu. Is she okay, said you? She hasn't woken up yet, said Mianto. You look down, said Nanako. Poor Araha, said Hitomi. Can I ask what are these doppels, said Kiyosuke? Uh, best you guys don't know, said Sayaka. Sayaka took Hitomi and Kiyosuke for away from Araha. Is she sleeping beauty? said Tatsuya. Uh, kind of, said you. Mommy told me you gotta kiss sleeping beauty to wake her up, said Tatsuya. Kiss? said Ren, blushing red. Ren, are you in love with Araha? said Mito. Me? No, you got it all wrong, said Ren. Well, you know, you can't hide it between wildcard users, said you. Your face is all red, Sananko. Looks like Ren is falling in love. I knew it, said Ryuji. Congratulations, said Yusuke. Well, it's Joker for ya. He, we can't, he can't break a girl's heart, said Morgana. Okay, maybe I like her a little bit, said Ren. You said that fast, said Morgana. I can see a bright future of love for those two in the cards, said Mel. The lovers are kind of never lie, said Margaret. Margaret held the Lee card in her hand. Which reminds me, it seems he doesn't have a social, li social link with her, said Margaret. They're called the confidants, said Caroline, though it's quite strange. He doesn't. Perhaps he has to open up to her to unlock her confidant, said Justin. I wonder what she holds, said Caroline. At the cabin, she, you, she found out 
how to unlock the locks here, Siakane. That's right. Now that we have the next key, it's time to unlock the door, Sukane. So who wants to unlock this time? Say so, Yukari. Can I do it, say Akiko? Akiko, say Akane. Please, I want to. Say Akiko. Okay, then, say on. She given the key. And Akiko picked her up. Ak Akiko picked her up. Akiko unlocked it and next locked. Three more to go, and we'll be able to unlock this door, Saharu. Yeah, let's do it all we can. It looks like the next lock seems to have a sci-fi tech, said Junpei. Ai Chen is next, said Sana. Sana, is there something wrong, said Yukari? Nothing, I don't like talking about it, said Sana. It, it's okay. If you don't want to talk about it, but if w there is something to do what we are going to up against, you can tell us all you want to, all you want us to know, said Mitsuru. Yeah, you don't have to tell the whole full story, Sukanji. Well, I know the Awas of the next labyrinth. She is an AI. I call her I chance, Asuna Sana. An AI? Impressive. She it's like I guess, Mitsuru. The anonymous AI has no name. The AI was cast away to the endless solitude the labyrinth is surrounded by, said Eternal Sakura. It kidnaps people who discover a message by the Iwasa on their cell phones. It directs them to Chua Ward. At Chua Ward, they discover the radio tower. It directs them there and asks them to jump off it. Once they do, they'll end up in endless solitude. The last person that is there is set free from the imprisonment, and the next person stays until the cycle is repeated. So it's like committing suicide to Ken? Not really, Sir Felicia. But yeah, I guess you could say it like that. So anonymous AI, said Akiko. Where do you think it would be? It obviously would not be in Chua Ward. Yachu used telepathy with the twins. Tusuka, Tusuko, can you hear me? Said Yachu. Yes, we can hear you, real right, said Tusuka. But big problem, the way the O-Tower is gone, said Tusuko. What do you mean, gone, said Yachu. Like it was taken off its spot for, for with something, said Tusuka. Think we saw a similar tower that looked a little crooked at Tatsumi Port Island in the dark hour. Place. I didn't think about it at first, but that's definitely Chua War Radio Tower for sure, said Tusuko. So it's at the dark hour of Tatsumi Port. I'll report this to the others. Hey, head back to Mitima's place to report the others there, said Yachicho. She stopped using telepathy. Yachicho, what are you doing, said Junpei. Oh, sorry, I was talking with Tusaka and Tusako, said Yachicho. But you were not using a cell phone or a communication device. How can you talk to them when you are clearly standing next to a wall in silence, said Junpei. I use telepathy. Magicals have access to that ability, said Yachicho. Really? You guys can communicate with each other through your minds, said Junpei? Yeah, if you wish, if, if you're with me, I can use telepathy with you. But it's mostly better when Kyubei is around, so you have to show. Right, that white creature you guys talk about, that's like a little Kyubei, said so Junpei. Yashiro told what Tusuka and Tusuko said. So, it's in the dark hour, Sumitsuru. We'll have to get back there if we want to finish it off, so you have to show. Well, let's get to... Well, let's get on the road, said so Akihiko. I'll do whatever I can to aid you, said so Akane. Good, just don't go attacking us again, said Junpei. My sister won't attack, I'm sure of it. I'll keep an eye I'll keep the eyes of cuteness, said Akiko. Akiko seriously, said Akane with a sigh of annoyance. Back at Mitima's place, Ren didn't leave Aruha's side. He's definitely in love with her, said Caroline. Ren looked at her. What are you looking at, inmate? yelled Caroline. Ren looked it away. Aruha chance, Ren. Then Ren's form went off. There was a text message from an unknown number. It wasn't like Futaba hacked at him again, like she did when she first met him and everyone as Alibaba. Text message read, Do you wish to save Araha Tamaki from her deep sleep? Save Araha, Saren? Another text message was sent. Then if you wish, come to Endless Solitude. You are a persona user after all, just like a magical girl. To be continued.